It takes time and it takes more reps. And both of those things mean patience. But for me, the big takeaway from what I'm seeing right now is the importance of externalizing what used to be internal, our core values to attract not only the right employees, but the right customers. My goal is to help, to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 367. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and we're brought to you by America's Best Restaurants. America's Best Restaurants is on a path to help you, independent restaurant owners, find more frequent customers. And in order to do that, what I'm going to talk about today is the topic that you need to take into deep consideration. You need to externalize who you are and why you are that because the other problem that you're all having is hiring the right people. And as I talk about today, putting out who you are, what you are, and why you are on your mission will help you not only attract the right customers, which are those frequent customers, but it'll help you attract the right people to do business with. The temptation in marketing is to put something out there that attracts anybody and everybody. In some weeks, it's tough not to pass up income from anybody and everybody. But I can promise you it comes with a price. It comes with a steep price. And today I'm going to talk about the long journey that it is to find the right people. But I'm also going to talk about what you have to do in order to get there. You see, our company from 2008 until 2016-ish was 99.9% local businesses that Matt Plapp personally knew at a very deep level. I'm talking family dinners, golf outings, micro trips with them around the region. I knew everything about them. They knew everything about me. The relationship was deep. We were partners in business. And along that part also came me vetting all of these people personally and them vetting me personally. So outside of one time in those first five to 10 years, was there one bad client? And he actually lasted a month. Every other client outside of that one was with me for a long time. And we were with, they were with me in the sense of we were in it together. During that time, I grew our company to a core of three to five people. And those people all deeply understood what we were doing, why we were doing it, and how we were going to get there. We all had unwavering commitment on the journey. Now, where it got tough for me was in the 2016 to 18 years when we decided to go nationwide. And we decided to extract what I thought was a really cool, what would you call it, method to help restaurants grow. Because we had all these clients we were serving locally that we were getting a lot of great results for, but the restaurants in particular were getting massive results. And to me, the one item I could pull out of there and take nationwide was our acquisition engine. We called it the ROI engine at one point. And that was a product that we could sell nationwide. And to me, it was like, hey, this works for any restaurant. They click a button here, they give us their credit card, they become a client. What I failed to realize early on was the fact that that wasn't true, number one. That's a whole different topic because there is a lot that goes into marketing working. Like the podcast I had the other day about branding, supporting conversion marketing. Well, that's that equation. That's what happens. But the other part of it was that I took away the aspect of Matt Plapp and the client knowing each other at a deep, deep level. Them knowing me, why I was doing what I was doing, what I hoped to accomplish, and how this was going to be a long-term relationship. And then me knowing exactly who they were. Were they in line with what I wanted to be associated with? The biggest toll that took on me as an entrepreneur 
is the toll that I didn't realize it was taking on my team. Because when you grow a team like we had from a few to many, and you get to the point where there's 30 plus people that buy into Matt Plapp, buy into our vision, buy into our company culture, buy into what we're trying to do. And then there's a bunch of comers, uh, customers coming in from the outside that are jackasses that aren't buying into that, that are looking for a magic pill to their marketing. And when I say a bunch, it's not a bunch, but you get the point. But when you get this group of people who have no relation with your core values, who don't care what you're doing everywhere else, who don't understand the long game, that simply want that pill that's going to help them lose the weight without doing the work everywhere else, that's where the disappointment sets in. And that's something I massively overlooked. And I don't know why. I don't know how. And the reason I'm telling you this is this is the same for your restaurant is that if you bring in the wrong people on your team and as customers, you will see that in the long term. If you bring the wrong people onto your team as employees, you know what that does. It's a cancer. We've been really, really fortunate not to do that. We had a six-month period this year where I got away from that. And guess what? We had more turnover in 90 days than we did in 15 years. And by the way, David Scott Peters did a podcast on that. I encourage you to go check it out where I talked about the nine reasons I found that we screwed up in a short period of time. Thank goodness we saw it and we got out of it, but we attracted the wrong people. We let the wrong people into our building and it's, it's not a coincidence. They were gone in a couple months, one a week. Now look at the customer side of this. You've got employees who are buying into what you're doing. They love your vision with the restaurant. They love the culture you're building. They love the food. They love the opportunity to serve people in the building. And then you've got jackasses coming in who don't appreciate it. Your frequent customers aren't those people. Those are your infrequent customers. Those are the people that Johnny come lately that are just stopping in to get something because it's convenient. It's right there in front of them or it's too good to pass up. So your goal with marketing your business is not only to market it externally to employees to attract the right people, but also customers. And after the break, I'm going to read to you three messages I've gotten in the last week from listeners of this podcast, from restaurant clients of ours that are just massively heartwarming because they show me that one of the big mistakes I had was that I was mistaken that if I put outward some things I believed in from a business philosophy standpoint that people wouldn't care, I was wrong. And we're going to talk about that after the break. We interrupt this programming for a brief announcement from our sponsor. Okay, obviously it's Matt, just joking with you. But you know what? I want to put something out there for all of you listening to this podcast. We don't have sponsors. We don't sell advertising inside this podcast. We're not doing it for any other reason than to help you. But at the same time, I realize our biggest opportunity to help you is through the advice from my team. So while I don't want this podcast to become an advertising and sales platform for my company, I do want to put out there what we do and why we do it. We help restaurants create massive attention and excitement around their brand. And there's three things I'm going to put in front of you right now that could help you get there. Number one, if you go to restaurantmarketingthatworks.com, It's going to take you to a place where you can do a couple things. Number one, you can watch seven trainings that we have that are unbelievable. The guides that are in those are top notch. The second part is you can schedule a time to talk to somebody from my team to do a free attention analysis. We do these unbiased reviews of your marketing so that you can get to the next level. And it's a great conversation to have that has no strings attached and that you will get honest feedback on where you're at and where you need to go. And the last thing is ABR University. Go to abru.online slash free. This is our online training portal that has a lot of extra trainings and it gets you access to our free Facebook group. Now back to the podcast. When I started doing this daily podcast in June of 2022, the vision was to give one tactical piece of advice every day that restaurants could put in place. Because what I had found out just by watching my own content, 
was I got to a point where I didn't want to watch my own content because it was too damn long. It was too much shit put into a big, big bowl. And it was like, okay, I got to do these eight things tomorrow because this is going to help. I thought, you know what? I'm going to come up with a podcast. And I stole this from a couple guys I look up to, Russell Brunson, Alex Ramosi. I had seen or heard their podcast they had done where they came out and did two to seven minute clips. Here's a tip. Take it and run. And sometimes they were deeper like this one. The one part that I was kind of confused on or conflicted with was business advice, was hustle advice, was motivational stuff. Because for me, up to that point, the majority of our customers were coming into our world simply to get help driving their sales and their profits with that tool. We weren't preaching the whole picture. And the whole picture is a big picture. Like I, I love to equate what we're doing with marketing and selling in a business to the fitness journey. That if you are a person like Matt Plapp in December of 2010 that was running up the stairs of my house and had man boobs, which was weird as a guy that was a defensive back in college. It's the opposite of what you have as a defensive back. You don't have man boobs. You have a sculpted chest back then. And I had to look in the mirror and realize that it wasn't going to just take me going to the gym. It was going to take me going to the gym, putting in effort, putting in consistent work, doing cardio, eating better, sleeping better, managing my stress. There's an entire equation that goes from man boobs to sculpted chest. And it doesn't happen overnight. It happens over a long period of time. It took me only being about 15 to 20 pounds overweight then two years to get back to a point where I was like, oh, okay, I get it. Well, it's the same journey with your restaurant or with any business. What you have right now in front of you, just to affectionately call it the shit sandwich that you've gotten yourself into, isn't the product of a week or a month. It's years of neglect across a broad range of topics. One of those topics for me that I was not sure that you would appreciate is business advice, is hustle advice, is motivation. And it came full circle this past week because last Saturday, eight days ago from when I'm recording this, Alex Hermosi, a guy that I look up to who's honestly the number one entrepreneur online, he's going to appeal more to digital marketing people like myself and people in the B2B world than he will restaurants, but he should appeal to everybody. And I think in the long term, you'll see he will. In the next 10 to 15 years, he will be the major name in business in this country. He will be the Warren Buffett, the Bezos, those guys. That is him. But he'll be way more relatable. And so I have consistently started to work in podcasts where I talk about those topics. And I wasn't sure if they were being heard. And then last Saturday, his event came out. I did a podcast on it. I did an email on it. And then I asked my team, do me a favor. I want you to take this email and forward it to all of our clients because I want them to watch this because if they watch it and they take the time, they're not distracted, the right people will freaking get it. And those are the people we need more of. And here's what I got back. So I got a message from Fred, one of our clients in, in Texas. Thanks so much for sharing this video with me. I just devoured it over a pot of coffee this morning before heading to work. So much in my brain right now. That same gentleman emailed me back after I sent him some other things. I really do appreciate our partnership and you following up on this because I had sent him some information from the podcast. I already am on the second listen of this book. Side note, I watched the video where you tell the story how you started in the family business, the boat shop. I'm always inspired to hear stories and meet people who set out to do a thing, usually a scary thing, and then life happens. They find themselves at a crossroad, and just like Ross Geller, they pivot. When you did that, it made all the difference for your family and those who depend on you. Respect. So I've been trying to put out a lot more stuff that's just not about marketing, that's telling us that we're all on the same journey together. And that right there, the fact that this gentleman, Fred, took the time to, re to consume the content that I'm putting out, consume the content that I recommended that isn't about restaurants. It's a podcast on getting leads for your business, which 
should be thought of more likely as restaurant marketing, but it's just not. And then he got back with me. Loved it. Here's another gentleman. This is Chris. And I'm going to do a podcast with my goal is to do a podcast with all these people that, that come back to us like this. But in this case, my goal is to put these stories out there as well to really see if I can find more people like these. So this is Chris. Just wanted to reach out and say thank you for taking us on as a business partner. He's a restaurant that we're working with. And by the way, this is a restaurant that we filmed at his restaurant with the ABR Roadshow a year ago. We created a relationship with him in that time. And over a 12-month period of time, numerous people from my team talked to him and helped him out with different marketing ideas and strategies. And he was not a paying client. And this is something I'm trying to wrap my head around with our team is, and even restaurants, hey, we're here. How can we be transparent and let them know that, yes, we do offer some really badass marketing services for businesses. We have three different levels. They're great. They're amazing. My people are top notch. But we are also here to help at any given time at the drop of a hat for free. Well, this is a gentleman that realized that and it became a two-way relationship. And we respected the fact that he wasn't where he wanted to be to take us on. And didn't really care that he wasn't because we just wanted to help. So now he is a partner. He came on board a few months ago. He said, although we just started, I feel a new sense of excitement around my business. Your free content and marketing tools have been an eye-opening experience for me in terms of what I need to do to hit my goals. I thought my business was doing well, having grown from 400,000 five years ago to close to 1.6 million this past year. More than the free content and customer data you and your team have given me, a renewed motivation to do more. Having been an athlete all of my life, being part of a team that pushes you beyond your norm and gives you more value and amount of money than you can ever have. I think that is the true hidden value of what you bring to the table, the team. I now, or I know I don't want to let the team down, so thank you for pushing the envelope of what's expected to succeed. And that comes from a lot of the content inside our membership program, inside this podcast, is that, hey, the streets are lined with gold. You can do what everybody else is doing and get the same lame-ass results and be looked at the same exact way, or you can step up to the plate. And I can tell you, this dude has stepped up to the plate in a major way by taking a lot of our advice before he ever even gave us a penny. And the fact that he said in there that, Yes, there's the cool things we're doing marketing-wise, but it's the push to get to the next level is what's really motivating. Here's the last one. This is from a lady I've not met, but again, this was a a restaurant that we filmed with and then became, you know what, actually, I don't know that we filmed with them, so I'll take that back. She said, Matt, watching this video last night while also watching the catering lead start to come in nonstop brought tears to my eyes this morning. I'm not a crier, but I guess I finally added tears to the blood, sweat, and tear blood and sweat I've poured into this business over the past 10 years. I love that. She's a lyricist. That was pretty cool to tie in. Luis told me he would help me grow my restaurant. He never said you guys would give me the energy to step back to the plate. I never even realized how far I had stepped away. I have to tell Daryl he's going to have to get used to seeing my face. You guys are awesome. And what that message means to me is there's an entrepreneur that was already doing some pretty cool stuff, but realized they're not even close to where they can go. It's the same with me. I know that I am running hard. I am running fast. I am doing some top-notch stuff. But then I look at Alex Ramosi and I'm like, I'm in slow motion. I'm on a, a Razor scooter with training wheels. And that is encouraging because I know that I'm capable of so much more, but I have to surround myself with people who will put me to that level. That, my friends, is what I'm trying to do with all of you. I can tell you, I know what a lot of you are doing. A lot of you have very special opportunities in front of you. You have to take advantage of it. You have to get people on your team that want to help you get there. And you have to externalize that. And so that's what this has been for me. This podcast has been a journey for me once a week to impart conversations like this, not marketing, not business tactic, but mind tactics, understanding of what's out there so that you can go to the next level. And I will tell you as a restaurant owner, the minute you start doing that, you will attract the right employees. Right now, a reason a lot of you cannot find employees 
The excuse doesn't go over with me that they're not out there. They're out there. They just don't know what they're missing because you've not put it out there. If you, the ne- if you spend the next 24 months marketing your restaurant like we preach and like I market our company, you would attract people that want to be a part of your team at all costs. They will leave better jobs. They will leave jobs that can pay more money to come be a part of something that has a deeper meaning to them and a culture. And in doing that, that will attract better customers. Those three people I just read are the cream of the crop with regards to the type of customers we want. We've got many others just like that, but we also have a fraction of our customers that don't get it. And then I've got to get to that side or we've got to get them gone and get new ones in. Because the only way that I can grow my company correctly is by my team, by in that conversation, they mentioned Luis, they mentioned Daryl. I know Lisa dealt a lot with Chris. Doug dealt a lot with Chris. That in order for me to get those people, get the most out of my team and make them love what they're doing, I have to put them in front of people that love what they're doing, which is our customers. So to you three people, thank you. I love the line, the blood, the sweat, and the tears. You finally got the tears to go with the blood and the sweat. Running a small business is freaking tough. Running a restaurant is probably one of the toughest. Keep up the hustle. See you next podcast. So as you know, I don't charge for my content. We don't have sponsors. We don't have product placement in here. But what I want your help with is spreading the word. If you're finding value here, do me a favor. Share this on your social media. Share an episode with something that made sense to you that's relevant to your restaurant that you got value from and tag Matt Plapp and America's Best Restaurants. Also, go to America's Best Restaurants on Facebook and on Google and leave us a review. Let us know the impact we've had on your restaurant with our roadshow, with our marketing help, or with our podcast. And last but not least, if you want to take the next step and help me out a lot and help us out a lot, text me a testimonial, 859-743-2408. That's my cell. A selfie video would be awesome about the impact this content or our company is having on your independent restaurant. But worst case scenario, just a few kind words. The way we can help lift this industry up is to help get content like this to more independent restaurant owners. And you are the key to spreading the word. I appreciate your support. Have an amazing day.